Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on the visibility assessment solution. Visibility assessment can be used to answer various visibility questions within the community. For example, you can assess how visible a proposed development will be from surrounding buildings or how much of the river can be seen from the proposed development. So let's have a look at river visibility. Open the assessed visibility task and select your observers and target features. The observer's features in this case are the proposed buildings and the target features is the river. First time you run it, you should set a larger panel size to test the workflow. And once you're happy, you can decrease the panel size. Because the smaller the panel size, the more accurate the analysis will be, but the longer it will take to calculate visibility. And then you set your obstruction features, which are features that can block visibility, such as the surrounding buildings, the trees and the terrain. Now, once the visibility analysis is finished, you apply symbology to the resulting panel layer and just make sure you set the attribute to the field attribute to area PROJ. Now, in this case, the more red the color, the more river area is visible from that location on the proposed development. So if we look here at one of the top areas, the projected visibility from that location is about 330 square meters in the direction of the sight line. And for this area, it's only about 25 projected square meters of river visibility. Now we can also calculate visibility from line features such as a road. For example, how visible is the proposed development from the road? And in this case, the road is the observer and the proposed development is the target. You set your panel sizes and again you set your obstruction features. We apply our symbology again using the same field attribute. And again, the more red the color, the more of the proposed development is visible from that location on the road. So in this case, of course, there were nothing can be seen because the surrounding buildings are blocking visibility and at this location we will see about 950 square meters of the proposed development. Now points are also supported as input in the visibility assessment solution. So what we can do is calculate visibility coverage for example CCTV cameras. Now in this case we use the CCTV maximum radius as observer and analyze if we can see the cameras from these areas. So the radius is the observer and the cameras are the target. We set our panel sizes and we set our obstruction features. So of course in this case the proposed development is an obstruction feature so you should enter it. And now when we set our symbology just make sure we use the field attribute called number of sight lines instead of area PROJ. And of course, we're interested in the areas that have no sight lines, which means invisible from the camera locations, which in this case is um, are all the red areas. Now, 
So now we are ready to publish our visibility results. You can publish to Portal for ArcGIS or to ArcGIS Online. And in this case, we will publish to ArcGIS Online. Now first, we're going to create a scene layer package. And then we're going to share this package to ArcGIS Online. So here we enter the scene layer package. We set a summary and we set some tags. Now, once it's published, we go to our ArcGIS Online account and publish the scene layer package as a scene layer. And then we can open the scene layer in our scene viewer. So here I have already an existing scene with my proposed development and I can search for my visibility results. And there you have it. And use the slides to switch between different scenarios. So this is the road visibility and this is my CCTV camera coverage visibility. And save your scene and share it with the public or members within your organization. All done. Thank you for watching.